Creole Heritage Month is a time to get a better grasp of the island's cultural and historical heritage. Tonight, two ladies from Shrizel are in focus, both with similar objectives of preserving the island's heritage. First, we meet with Felixia Depardine, who has been gathering antiques for a few years now with the intention of one day opening a museum. In the meantime, she does small exhibitions for special groups, including students. Calabash TV was specially invited to view the exhibits. My name is Petrolina Depredin, originally from Chazel. I worked at JQs for some time. After I left JQs, I opened the daycare. Then when I started collecting stuff, and then finally I opened and used to display them for a few years, and then I started charging a fee because it's a lot of work. I go to, I start like seven o'clock in the night and two o'clock in the morning I'm still packing so I charge a fee but some people come some don't but the preschools come um, they feel very satisfied because I have a visitor's book and uh, their remarks are very encouraging I must say but I wish if later on the years if I I'm not around. I wish someone would take on the trip, you know, continue, continue to, to do whatever it is. Now, how did you start doing this? What inspired you to start this? Well, I always loved the antiques, but then since I was teaching, then from teaching I left, I came to work at GQs for some time. Then after I left GQs, I decided there's nothing to do, so I better start, you know continuing to collect stuff and then one day I might open a museum of my own. So do you remember when, when you actually started collecting? What was the first piece of, the first piece that you started collecting? Mm. Do, you remember that? Or do you remember the period what what excited you most when you started collecting? It was like in 2013 I asked somebody to make build me a truck. These trucks we had long time. And then from then I started collecting stuff, making, I have something called a, a flavy. They say people used to juke, um, how do you call them, gage and so on with it. And then I started doing these things and more and more I collected. I bought, I found some in the house and that's how that I am. So when you say collecting, you, you, you go around asking people for things or how does yeah, it? I do that. Mm -hmm. Once I have the chance, I go around and ask. Could you tell me if you have seen so and so somewhere, or is there anybody with so and so? Then if they tell me, I, I go ahead, I buy it. Sometimes I get them free. Because two weeks ago I bought a jar out of clay for 250. So, uh, but I have it in Chazelle. Yeah, because I have some of my stuff down there too. So if maybe you're passing on Sunday, you could give me a okay. visit. Oh, so you actually spend your own money buying things as well? Yeah, yeah. And um, do, how, how do you decide who has things? Do you just see a house and figure there must be some old things in there? Or, 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 sometimes, or, yeah. sometimes, yeah. But I go around asking people, if you see so-and-so, oh, like I want a gramophone. I had one, but it was stolen. So I ask people if they know of anybody for gramophone, but now everybody's cherishing what they have. In terms of the range, starting from, I know you have from Fanta bottles to <laughs> all kind of, but give us an idea of the range of things you have there. Well, I have a four poster bed. That's a long time. I have the old pills, well, the white one. I have a colored one there, but I have a white one. I have stuff where to climb the four poster, you'd have to go up on something to climb it. Then I have something to kneel by the bed to pray. That's in Chazelle. What else? I have a, a metal trunk, but it's in the, in the house in the yard. But I can't put it, I don't have space to put it. I have these, um, the machines, mm -hmm. the cash registers. I have one which you have to crank mm -hmm. if it's outside. I have one without cranking. What else do I have? So you basically like any and everything? Anything I get. Yeah. Anything. So what is your most prized position? What do you value the most out of everything you have here? Oh, I think I love everything that is inside of here. I don't play by myself. I love everything I have. I cherish everything. Everything. Like, I, like there's no difference. I cherish everything. And which 
that have, have you spent the most money on? Oh, the banjo. I bought it for four fifty. Yeah, but yeah, there's two something, one fifty, sixty dollars. You know, it all depends. Is there a history behind the banjo? Is there a particular musician who played it, or you just got a banjo? It, a, it belonged to a musician, and I bought it from him. And I see you have a catapult as well. We haven't seen those for a while. <laughs> Yes, I had somebody make that one for me Excellent. over the years. I have it for a while now. All right, well, we really appreciate it. So what's the big joy you get out of this? Well, I just do it for the, for the love of doing it and then let people see, you know, from the times what we haven't seen in a long time, what they haven't seen in a long time. So, yeah, because when I lift up like for Creole Day, I normally lift up the curtains and people would stand by and watch and laugh and stuff. You know, say, where the lady get this from? Where she got that from? Hey, it's a long time I haven't seen that, you know. That's it. Well, thanks a lot. We appreciate what you're doing and all the best. Thank you. And I wish you the best too.